Hello HHO enthusiasts on YouTube. This is Scatrax again with another video. I'm here showing you my old cell and old way of thinking uh, and some things that I've learned over the past. This is a cell that I've made back in uh, March. Um, if you look at it, it's a nine plate cell or nine and a third plate cell. Um, I made here, um, this one here is a uh, pretty well toned up and everything. I've used uh, sodium bicarbonate as an electrolyte and uh, sodium hydroxide um, but uh, right now I'm currently using potassium hydroxide which I find uh, is the best and keeps uh, everything clean. Um, this here has been painted with some sort of electrical tape uh, paint and uh, keep these terminals isolated and everything else. Um, if you this this particular cell was inside the vessel here with the water level up to here, and if you look real closely here at this particular terminal, you can see that the wires have become corroded, and uh, has the sheathing has melted and pulled away. Of course, I've been a little aggressive at yanking it out of the vessel because I knew this was a junk cell but if you can see here closely that in between those wires uh, you can generate a spark now I have made some sort of precautions which I thought at the time was pretty cool uh, I put a couple of stainless steel washers here smashed them together real tight on the wires and sealed it up with some uh, automotive goop adhesive which is great but if you look at this here since the electrolyte was up above this level and the wire sticking outside of the cell and connected you can generate heat which this one pretty much was great for generating heat uh, melt away the sheathing expose these wires and uh, in between these little strands of wires could generate a spark and you can go kaboom I've seen it on YouTube before guys do not do that do not put your terminal wires in the solution. Keep your terminal outside the vessel and then hook your wires outside on the nut terminals. I've seen zero fossil fuel safe before and now I'm saying it. I got extremely lucky on this. Um, my old cell configuration here is diagrammed like this. The positive, neutral, negative, neutral, but jump to negative, positive, negative neutral positive came up around here because I learned that uh, the more negative terminals or negative plates you have generates more hydrogen um, well that's that that's true but this particular cell is very hot cell uh, that's not what you want this is after 20 minutes that I ran it it boiled water so um, this is my new cell that I have in my car today and what I did here was I these are stainless steel bolts that I had and I bent it at a 90 degree angle and uh, the holes are all drilled throughout the plates but they're insulated with some tubing and the areas that I want to connect like say this would be a positive and a positive on this particular terminal uh, the insulation was stripped away or, or the tubing was not and I put stainless steel nuts here and I tightened them tightly on these two plates. Same thing goes up to here with my uh, negative terminal here. Uh, same technology. Drill the hole all the way through. Have uh, uh, tubing all the way throughout to insulate the other plate so it won't touch but uh, the area where I wanted to have uh, a negative put it on there. Um, here's some technology that I've also learned here too. Uh, in between the plates, what you want to have in the, as a goal 1.8 to 2.0 volts almost no electrical heat is generated in between which I find to be true um, my current cell right now as if you were to have it as a brute force cell at 12 volts or 13 14 volts all the way through will generate 2.3 maybe a little over 2.5 volts in between the plates if you put your multimeter here and here you should read about 2.5 preferably less um, I was thinking as an idea what you might want to do is maybe have a half of a neutral plate or a third of a neutral plate on this side here and a maybe a little bit here but not touch the plates but also 
with this particular uh, cell, it might have brought it down. But uh, I use my pulse uh, width modifier, and uh, I don't turn it all the way up. I turn it down to keep it about 21 amps, 20, 21 amps, which will probably is less than that. So, with that said and that learned, uh, if that's true, this particular cell here that I made uh, would probably generate seven to eight and a half volts in between the plates which of course you can see why it would uh, make it a uh, rather hot cell so that's why it's no longer used but it, it was my embarrassment and first uh, time learn how to to do HHO and technology and everything else as all of you guys have done but this is what I've seen before do not put your terminals inside the solution of water um, that's a no-no. Zero fossil fuel, like I said before, I said it before, don't do it. Um, another thing I want to say um, on my particular cell, what I've noticed is that every hour my cell water uh, goes down about 150 to 200 milliliters of water. Um, I don't know if this is true for all you guys. It, some might bubble into the uh, uh, bubbler, but not, not, not a lot most of it stays into the tube if it happens to gurgle if you're you know driving around and that but um, that's what I've been getting um, if any of you guys have witnessed this or, or if this is a, a common cause or common thing that happens uh, please let me know um, I hope this information is uh, very informative uh, this is the plate configuration currently I have in my car seems to work very well uh, with a with a laser temperature pointer on my cell, it reaches uh, somewhere around 150 to 165 degrees. Now I don't know how accurate it is. It might catch some engine heat, um, but it's not, you know, boiling it after 20 25 minutes as my old uh, pride and joy here. <laughs> kind of an embarrassment for me, but that's what it's all about here. Everybody's learning here. And I want to share some of my embarrassments with you so that you hopefully you can learn also. Um, that's it. What I have here. This is uh, the information that I have. It's Again, it's not Bible. If there's uh, anything that anybody can uh, add to or correct me if I'm wrong, uh, please be kind with your comments and uh, let me know. Uh, I hope this is informative for all you guys on YouTube. This is Scott Rock signing off.